Scorpios, welcome to your mid-month tune-up for June 2019. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so it can apply to love, family, career, finances, business, however resonates for all of you, and everyone has a different story, so realize that also. So Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Scorpios for the middle of June 2019? Any messages you have that can help Scorpio reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine, would be greatly appreciated. Scorpios, middle of the month, June 2019, please. Thank you, Scorpios, middle of June 2019. Can you please show me what will be the general atmosphere or the energies? Their energy is middle of June 2018. You all have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, keep in mind my 2019 Sun Moon readings are up. Look up your Sun Moon signs and go check out those predictions in my playlists. King of Cups in the upright for your challenge. Okay, I'm also on the Instant Go app if you need a quick answer to a quick question. It's $4.98. I'm on Insta, I'm on Facebook, where I'm uploading weeklies. Feel free to message me on there. Advice position, nine of swords in reverse. <laughs> Those are kind of interesting. And then moving out of June into July, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Wow, a lot of, lot of stuff going on for you guys. Okay, and keep in mind, if this reading resonates, consider a personal reading. Rates info, info and email are below. Just send me an email and we can make that happen. Okay, Queen of Cups in reverse. Um, it could be someone you're dealing with. I feel like it's you. Um, <laughs> because the Queen of Cups, when it comes to emotions, they are boom, all over the place, okay? It, it can go on the spectrum from being just kind of uncertain, not really knowing, you know, where you are in regards to your feelings, to the other spectrum where you're, you know, downright vindictive, you want revenge, you're trying to manipulate somebody, you're being super jealous, super needy. Okay, uh, Queen of Cups uses her emotions in the most negative way possible um, to affect people. So, and, and I got to tell you, although it can be somebody else, I, I do feel like it was you guys. And, and I don't want to be the bad person here because there is advice to follow and perspective to follow. Okay, um, although I don't like this card here. But we have these wonderful clarifiers. So we're going to figure it out. Challenge position, we have the King of Cups practically the total opposite energy of the queen of cups this guy he's in control of his emotions he's very mature he doesn't make emotional decisions okay he doesn't get in the feels he is empathetic but he's not sympathetic this guy is a really good mediator too he's very good at um it, not so much like the king of swords is because he's still not detached he makes he makes decisions based on empathy but he doesn't let his emotions get the better of him okay and I feel like they're telling you the challenge is for you to be this guy, getting your emotions under control, you know, acting in a mature fashion when it comes to your emotions, not letting your emotions get the best of you, okay? Because if the challenge is for you to be this guy and this is what your situation is, then, you know, maybe get in touch with your emotions and try to figure out how you can go about just toning that back a little bit, okay? The advice here is to get out of your head. <laughs> um... You know, in the upright, the Nine of Swords is very much about being sad and depressed and tons of negative emotions and worried and stressed out and beating up on yourself and all of this stuff. And the Nine of Swords is telling you, get out of that, okay? You've hit rock bottom. A lot of this stuff that, that is happening right now is you're creating out of fear. It's, it's perception. It's not reality, okay? So they're telling you, kind of snap out of it, get out of it, stop worrying about things. Um, listen to your dreams. Dreams can be soothing. A lot of times uh, your dreams are in place to help you navigate through things in life that you couldn't resolve during your waking hours. Um, and they're telling you if you've hit like rock bottom, it's time to come out of it. Okay. Figure out how you're going to crawl out of the well, even if it's hand over hand, but they're telling you, get out of your head, get out of your head, get out of your heart. <laughs> um, this Knight of Cups moving June into July, I'm concerned that you guys aren't doing this. Um, because again, the Knight of Cups can be moody. He can be jealous. He has very much the same traits that the Queen of Cups does, except even, even more immature because he's a knight. Um, are you blaming people for stuff? 
That's another thing that the Knight of Cups does. He tends to blame people. He'll say things like, oh, you know, I did this because you made me feel this way. So if you're doing any of that stuff, if you're being abusive or what have you, um, I would definitely check yourself in regards to that. Now, let's say that this is an individual that you're dealing with because I know a lot of you are going to be like, it's not me, it's them. Okay, and that's fine. If you're dealing with this Knight of Cups, somebody who disappoints you, somebody who has um, issues committing or intimacy issues or is emotionally unavailable or is just like crap when it comes to their emotions, um, then step away from them. Don't engage with them. Don't placate. Just walk away from this person because you give this person an inch, they're going to take a mile, okay? If that's not you, if that's somebody you're dealing with. There's a really emotional spread here. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Who is this person? What is this energy for Scorpios? And sometimes we get like this and there's reason for this. Maybe somebody did something to you, you know, and you're pissed off and you want revenge. I get it. Why is this Queen of Cups here in reverse? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages, please, for the Queen of Cups in reverse. For Scorpios, middle of June. You're not looking at the situation with proper judgment. The judgment card is in reverse. If it was in the upright, you'd be assessing the situation clearly. You're not. Your perspective is off. You're listening to um, inner criticism that you have. Um, it, it could be a lot of things. Just a lack of judging your own actions. Um, not working on self-love. Not working on forgiveness. Not working on self-care. Things like that. There's internal stuff going on that is preventing you from seeing a situation for how it really is. Part of it might be the three of wands here, having setbacks, delays. There might be communication problems in place. You can't talk it out with this person. And that's just making you kind of kind of um, spin your wheels. Okay. Um, it's, I'm getting from this queen of wands that this is this person. I feel like this is the person that's affecting you. This person is very powerful. Um... I'm not going to lie. Some of you might be jealous of this person. <laughs> um, because the Queen of Wands, like I said, she's a very powerful person. When she steps on the scene, things get things get done. And I almost feel like with this person, you see people responding to them. She's very extroverted. Um, people are drawn to her. She's um, charming. Okay? She embraces challenges and she gets things done. And I feel like you all are looking at this person and they're making you feel, feeling, feel very off emotionally. Um, I don't necessarily know that this has to be someone that's romantic. This, this could be, it isn't anybody romantic. I feel like this is this, so this could be, um, an ex of somebody you're in a relationship with. Um, this could be a colleague I feel you're very competitive with this person. This person really stirs you up emotionally. But I think I, I think with being like this, it's just setting you back. It's 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 stopping you from achieving what you want to achieve, being in that kind of headspace. Okay, so the King of Cups are telling you to get these emotions in control. Whatever you're feeling about this person, gotta cool your jets. <laughs> Why is the King of Cups here on the upright? Who is this person? And also, you know, if you are dealing with this person, you're competitive with this person. The thing that's probably going to get to them the most is if you act like the King of Cups, like nothing really bothers you. You're mature. You're above it. You're above it all. This person's not getting to you, you know? Instead of how I kind of see that you might be behaving. Why is this King of Cups here? Okay. They're showing you the Seven of Cups saying, you know, challenges. There's a lot of other things that you should be focusing on at this time or looking into other offers and you're not doing so your judgment is again clouded in regards to this person I feel like this person brings out self-doubt you question yourself there's something with this seven of swords where i feel like you you're hoping you're you're kind of hoping that this person's going to get exposed for how they are or caught for doing something um i'm telling you usually i don't i mean and you guys can tear me up in the comments if you want to when I'm kind of getting that, like you're sitting by going, oh, I can't wait until they find out how this person really is. And 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 this isn't good. This is a challenge. This is what's kind of holding you back. Um, and then we have the two of swords here in reverse. Mental confusion again. You don't, you, 
I feel like your your emotions are loud is allowing your judgment to get clouded. You don't you don't really it's causing mental confusion. You're not looking at things from a detached and a clear perspective in regards to this situation. I just feel like your emotions are steamrolling. Um I'm trying to figure out why this person like oh, what the hell just happened? Why this person you know, sets you off like this, um, or gets under your skin. You know, if you feel like they're better than you, or they're acting like they're better than you. Why is this Nine of Swords here in reverse? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages. And again, it's all in your head. They're like, get out of your head about this. You need a, a fresh perspective, a clear perspective. Um, why is this Nine of Swords here in reverse? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages. Nine of Swords. So, a lot of so conflict going on. Um, you know, the, one of the things about the Five of the Swords is start stop stop fighting after the fight's over. You know, um, you may have lost this battle, but you don't need to keep on fighting after the fact, getting people to see your way, or you know, holding on to these strong emotions that you have about this person. Sometimes you just have to lay down your swords and say, this fight is over. It's time to move on. And I feel like that's what they're kind of telling you. Okay. Cause there's offers you might have an offer coming in and you're all wrapped up in this right now. So you won't even see the offer that comes in. It could be emotional connection. Uh, could be a new creative project. Could be something work related. Um, or they're telling you to focus on that when a new offer comes in. Put down your swords in regards to this and, and focus on that. That Knight of Cups is coming in for you. King of Cups in reverse is... Control your emotions. <laughs> when the King of Cups in reverse comes up, that's what it is. Control your emotions. It's pretty much what was being said back here. Be mature. Because it's affecting things and it's affecting your perspective. I don't know what this person did. or I get a sense of like superiority or you feel that this person is superior to you somehow. Or they're projecting themselves. They're making you feel lesser somehow. And I think that really has you kind of spun up. Why is, this could very well be like a stepmother. This could be a new love interest in um, you know one of your exes. X's lives. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Who is this person? Who is this energy? Additional messages from Knight of Cups. But I, I just don't see you guys getting a grip. And I, so power is being taken away again with the Chariot card. That's the card of Cancer if that's relevant. But basically it's being at somebody else's mercy. But I feel like you're allowing that. It's loss of personal control. And you're allowing that because you're allowing your emotions to get the best of you. The moon card in reversed. Well, I hope you have clarity in regards to this. I hope you're understanding the negative impact your emotions are having on you. Moving forward, you may, but you may have to go through, you may have to go through, um, okay, so this could be a third party and somebody that you have to get along with, whether it's a co-parenting situation, a blended family, um, a colleague in your office, um, you're going to you're going to work on getting along with them because the moon card indicates to me you come to your senses you realize well here you feel like oh you know you're all out of control with your emotions and then the chariot card says to me you know you feel powerless you feel out of control and maybe you are so you tell yourself you know what there there's nothing i can do about this other than try to make it work because you realize no matter what you do this person's going to be who they are you can control yourself but you can't control other people you can't control somebody's actions, but you can control your reactions. So I think you're going to have that clarity. And with the Three of Pentacles, you're just going to try to make it work. Either you're going to be civil with this person, you're going to look at the bigger picture. So let's say that there's a project that you all are working on. You know, it, it's it's not going to come to fruition if you don't cool your jets and you don't work with this person. Same thing, you know, you have children to raise. Are they going to be raised better if there's conflict or if you kind of work with this person and, and you take the higher ground? And just not let this person get to you. So that's what I feel like what's going on with you guys. However, that's which situation pertains to. 
Alrighty, so if this did resonate with you, consider a personal reading. Rates info on my email email or below. Um, just send me an, what? Yeah, what? Yeah, just send me an email. We can go ahead and set that up. <laughs> Otherwise, keep in mind my playlist. My 2019 Sun Moon readings are in there. My compatibility readings are in there. I'm on Insta and Facebook where I upload my weeklies, and I'm on Instant Go. If you need a quick kit, quick answer to a quick question for 4.98, you should get it within 24 hours. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garnett. I will see you all in July for your love readings. Thank you for your like, share, support. If you haven't, please do so. Bye.